Essential SAT Vocabulary Cards. And now it's review number 46. What a nice little number. 46. Both of them add up all the way to 10. So here we are. Here are 10 words. And let's start with limes. A submarine made of limes. Sublime. It means to be supreme or to be lofty. It's like something splendid or highly instead of the antonym of a lowly. And of course, that's what sublime is. Also, limes are highly. The second word is subsidy. Now, subsidy basically means a grant or contributions of money, like to be like an aid or a sat or like a grant of something, a grant of money. And the answer will be a hampering towards something because you're taking away money. And our next word is a verb called substantiate. It basically means to establish by proof or by evidence. So it's something like prove and the answer would be like refute. Because like other than prove, it also means to be support. So yeah, of course, the answer would be refute or to be disprove. Our next word is this one, an adjective called subtle. It means to be delicate in meaning or intent. Like to be subtle, it means you're strength. To be not subtle, you're basically going to be very, very unlimited in what you're doing. Our next word is sullen. It basically means to be silently ill-humored. Like, it also means to be like surly. That's the synonym or moral. And the anti would be more like sociable. That kind of makes sense. Our next word is this one, an adjective called superfluous. It has nothing to do with Superman. It basically means more than is sufficient or required to do something. To be excessive towards something and having some unnecessary things. So the answer will be necessary, of course, or uh, inexcessive. <coughs> and then our next word is to be supplant, which is a verb. It basically means to replace one thing with, some, with another, or to basically substitute something, or to put like put something into a blank, or to, like switch something around. And the answer to that will be surrender, like... I surrender, you can take me by force. And our next word and our next word is suppress. Suppress is a verb and it means to keep in or repress to something, to hold back something or to try to like <coughs> keep something in. So it, like to encourage would be the antonym and to discourage would be the synonym to suppress. Our next word is sustain. Now, sustain is something we all have to do. That's what the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, stands for. Yes, part, at least. It's a verb that means to support or to hold or to back up. It also basically means, like, uh, maintain towards something. To maintain towards that thing and an antonym is more or less like to plague something or to be able to unmaintain something. And then our last word is tacit, which is an adjective that means we understood something without being spoken. So they like imply a lot of, and then this is what ancient cave people did in the olden times because they did not know what this is. So they were like, oh, oh, go, 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 bra, 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 and then, or else they could like go do hand signals or drawings to actually show what they wanted to do, which is how language first implied. And so the synonym will be implied, and the antonym will be explicit. Well, for now, in olden English, it'd be like only way to do this. Now it's time for our reading and writing. So reading and writing from now on, so I'm just gonna keep this the same, it's like finding a different meaning. It's just from four choices and you're choosing a different meaning. The one word that has a different meaning from each of the three. So in this case, we have these four words, halt, arrest, commerce, stem. What are you looking at? So would you want me to use red or blue? Please say one thing. Yeah, we haven't used red in a while, so I'll just use red. So first of all, we have to find out the meanings of these things. Halt, it's a synonym, would basically be stop. And the second word, arrest, it basically means also to stop. Well, something to, similar to stop, as like you're arresting someone, that means you're stopping that person from going ahead. Oh. And then the third word, commerce. Commerce, hmm, I feel like this is the word. So it basically means the to begin. To begin, so that seems to be plausible. And the fourth word, it basically means 
to end. To stand towards Lotus Sing is like could mean it also means to like go ahead and keep growing ahead and ahead and ahead. In this case, the stem meaning is to end. So our answer here would be the third word, commerce. Because you're talking about the beginning. Halt! You're under arrest. Stem out. And that's pretty much all I have for today. So now let's go ahead and do the test. Now here are the test words. Beep. The first word is sublime. So are they, which sublime submarine are you going into? A lime submarine. So is that a submarine that sells limes? No, it's a submarine made of limes. Mm. Interesting. Our next word is subsidy. So, no VPN. I am no VPN. I would like to give you a subsidy. How much? Five trillion dollars. Okay. Our next word is this verb called substantiate. So I with the, so Ling Chun was able to substantiate that this guy was a liar by showing an almanac thing yesterday with a dead half moon. And the uh full moon was going to happen in like a few weeks. And our next word is an adjective called subtle. So it's final I feeling like you're not being subtle whenever he's coming by. So why? I actually have no idea. Let me uh Oh, I see what you mean. Because of the odor. He, he has his body smell. Our next word is sullen, which is an adjective that probably you guys will not really enjoy. You shouldn't really be sullen towards other people because that will just make you really, really unpopular. As well as the fact that this will also make you very ill-humored, too. So... He became sullen when his giant chess piece of the rook did not win against world record. Our next word, oh wait, wrong word. Our next word is this one, an adjective called superfluous. Superfluous. So why are you writing 40 Pages is a waste of two hours. You can write all of this in ten pages. It's impossible. No, it is not. Let me show you a level eight, a level eight, uh, a hundred percently done well PPT. It shows him her. Oh. Okay, I'll shorten it. Good. Our next word is supplant, which is a verb. Don't supplant me with a cheap AI. AI, come supplant this guy. I said don't. Too late. Our next word is suppressed, which is a verb. Are you, why are you suppressing us? Why are you suppressing our right of speech? Because you guys don't have a right of speech. And then our next word is sustain. Class, what does the SDG stand for? Yes, Richie, sustainable development goal. Good job. Now, what does sustain mean? To keep on living close, but not at quite. Our next word is this adjective, which is also our last, called tacit. So what does tacit sound like? I feel like it's implying the fact that we're supposed to turn on a faucet or a tap. And now our last one typically is commerce. So, let's commence. Oh, wait. It's commence. I've been calling it commerce this entire time. Note here, commerce basically means like commercials or more or less business like stuff. Comment means to commence the championship, to begin the championships. And yeah, there's not that much else I can say right now. So let's commence this year's championships with the throwing of the ball. And now that's it. Let's just throw the cards. Bye guys!